Two days after completing a record-breaking engine test, SpaceX has rolled a strange naked Starship prototype from its Starbase Texas factory to a nearby test site, joining Starship 25 at Pad B. This is the first time we've had dual Starships at the suborbital launch site since SN9 and SN10 in 2021. What does SpaceX intend to do with this bullet-like prototype? And what did Elon Musk just reveal about Starship's first orbital flight? Meanwhile, NASA has picked Blue Origin's New Glenn to fly a science mission to Mars. All this and more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. First, SpaceX is doing something very strange with Ship 26. Beginning with its cone-tipped nose section, SpaceX started stacking Starship S-26 back in October of 2022. By early January of 2023, the prototype had been stacked to its full 50 meter or around 165 foot height and was welded together. After about six more weeks of outfitting, Ship 26 left Starbase's high bay assembly facility and was transported to one of two stands formerly used for suborbital Starship test flights. SpaceX lifted Ship 26 onto suborbital Pad A on the morning of February 12th, just a few hundred feet to the left, Starship prototype S-25 watched from suborbital Pad B while waiting for the start of its Raptor engine test campaign. Ship 26 is four months younger than Ship 25 and rolled out with Raptors installed, as it still needs to pass several simpler tests. That's far from the only difference between the starships. Aside from a range of smaller design changes, Ship 26 has three main differences relative to most prior starships. First, it has zero heat shield tiles. Since the 2020 to 2021 period of suborbital starship flight testing, all finished ships, which include S-20, S-21, 22, 24, 25, have been fitted with around 10,000 black ceramic heat shield tiles. Eventually, those tiles will theoretically protect starships from the intense heat created by re-entering Earth's atmosphere at orbital velocity. Ship 26 also has no flaps. Since SpaceX first fully assembled a Starship in October of 2020, every ship the company has completed, SN8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 16, 20, 21, 22, 24, and 25, has had four large flaps and form-fitting aero covers installed. Starships need flaps to steer and orient themselves during orbital re-entries. They also need flaps to control themselves during exotic landing maneuvers, which require ships to freefall belly down like a human skydiver, and aggressively flip into a vertical orientation for propulsive landings. Finally, and most confusingly, Ship 26 has no payload bay of any kind. The end result is a smooth, featureless starship, that looks like a steel bullet. It can't return to Earth and can't deploy satellites. Combined, the fact it exists at all almost seems like an elaborate multi-month mistake. But SpaceX clearly intended to build Ship 26 and is now preparing to qualify it for flight. Could this be a depot, moon lander, or something else entirely? In simpler terms, Ship 26 is an intentionally expendable starship with no way to launch satellites. That raises the obvious question, why does it exist? There are a few obvious possibilities. SpaceX is developing at least four types of starships. The crew and tanker ships will have heat shields and flaps. The Starship Moon Lander, or HLS, will have no flaps or heat shield and will be painted white and will also be insulated. A depot ship with stretched tanks will stay in orbit permanently and store propellants for in-space refilling. Based on low-resolution renders, the bullet-like depot ship is the most reminiscent of Ship 26. However, there's no evidence that Ship 26 has exterior optical properties optimized for the long-duration propellant storage. The prototype also lacks any of the hardware likely needed for docking or propellant transfer and has propellant tanks that are the same size as past ships. 
To survive in orbit for days or weeks, it would need some kind of power source, typically solar rays, that isn't present. And even if an expendable starship like S-26 can already achieve SpaceX's reported target of 250 tons, or around 550,000 pounds to low Earth orbit, 250 tons is only a fifth of a full propellant load. Regardless, Ship 26 is clearly destined for more than the scrapyard. The bullet-like prototype was installed on suborbital pad A, which SpaceX has modified for cryogenic proofing and structural testing. While coordinating with Ship 25, which needs to conduct static fire tests, Ship 26 will be pressurized and loaded with liquid nitrogen, liquid oxygen, or both to safely simulate the thermal and mechanical loads it will experience when filled with propellant. The stand is fitted with hydraulic rams that can simultaneously simulate the thrust of six Raptor engines, which in turn means 1,380 tons or around 3 million pound force of thrust. If it passes those tests, SpaceX will presumably return Ship 26 to the Starbase factory for Raptor installation. Strangely, the smooth Starship isn't alone. It appears that Ship 27 will be more or less identical with no heat shield or flaps. However, there's evidence that Ship 27 will have the first working payload bay on a Starship and could be used to deploy full-size Starlink version 2 satellites in addition to any other testing SpaceX wants to use it for. The most exotic and unlikeliest explanation for Ship 26 and Ship 27 is that the pair is meant to support SpaceX's first Starship docking and propellant transfer test. In October of 2022, a NASA official indicated that SpaceX's second Starship test flight would be a Starship to Starship propellant transfer. For now, SpaceX's priority is preparing Ship 24 and Super Heavy Booster 7 for Starship's first orbital launch attempt, followed by preparing Ship 25 and Booster 9 for the second orbital flight test. Until then, Ship 26 and Ship 27 will likely remain a bit of a mystery. The good news is that it probably won't take too long. And if you follow SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk's Twitter, you'll likely notice that over a few days, Musk has been constantly making assertions about Starship's timeline. Starship orbital launch attempt soon, Musk tweeted on February 13th and added, crazy that Starship is real. He even said, hopefully humanity will reach Mars in 20 years. For almost a year, SpaceX's Elon Musk has been promising that his space company will attempt to launch its Starship spacecraft into orbit for the first time within a matter of months. But given the company's recent progress, Musk's latest promise that Starship will attempt to go orbital soon might actually signal an imminent launch attempt, meaning that day will finally come. And if you don't have faith in SpaceX's Starship yet, you should know, NASA has even started to believe in Blue Origin and just gave it a big award, specifically to New Glenn, the company's heavy lift orbital launch vehicle that has yet to go on its first launch for a science mission to Mars. This is also the company's first interplanetary NASA contract. The mission is called Escape and Plasma Acceleration and Dynamics Explorer, or escapade, and it was designed to study the planet's magnetosphere using twin spacecraft. NASA is targeting a late 2024 launch for the mission, which means we won't have to wait too long to finally see the new Glenn in action if the Jeff Bezos-owned space corporation can prevent further development delays, that is. Blue Origin initially targeted a 2020 date for its first launch, and NASA approved it for future unmanned scientific and exploration missions that year. But the event kept getting pushed back. It was moved to 2021 and then to 2022. By the end of March last year, Jarrett Jones, Blue Origin's SVP for New Glenn, admitted that the vehicle wasn't going to fly for the first time in 2022 and that the company was in the process of setting a new date. NASA has granted Blue Origin the contract for Escapade under the Venture Class Acquisition of Dedicated and Rideshare Program, which was designed to foster the growth of commercial launch services in the US. 
The agency intends to use launch vehicles from program participants specifically for small satellites and Class D payloads that can tolerate higher risk. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX, and as always, if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, my team and I will see you next time.